right, Joe Reeks, the morning show. Hey, the front page news is being bought to you by Toyota. That's right, today is the day to check out the stylish new Toyota and get a great deal. Save on Camry, Ram 4, Highlander, and more at the Today the Day event. Toyota, let's go places. 11 minutes after the hour, Eva, good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everyone. I'm your girl, Eva Marcel, here with a quick look at your front page news. So the biggest news over the weekend, of course, was the passing of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who died on Friday at the age of 87 due to pancreatic cancer. President Trump has announced plans to make a replacement this week, or at least to name one. The Republican-led Senate said that they will move forward with a confirmation hearing before the November election. Now, this move goes completely against what happened in 2016 when Republican Senate leader Mitch McConnell blocked President Obama from filling a vacant seat, claiming that the vote during uh, for a Supreme Court justice should not take place within an election year. This will be the third seat filled by President Trump during his short time in office. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg is expected to lie in repose at the Supreme Court for two days and funeral services will be on Friday. Now, in coronavirus news, the U.S. is on the verge of passing 200,000 coronavirus deaths today, and many colleges have announced the cancellation of spring break due to COVID-19. All right, that was a quick look at your front page news. For more, log on to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.com. Rock TZ Foshisi, what's up in sports? What it is, Eva? Well, let's talk about them Lakers, man. The Denver Nuggets had a chance to tie the series up yesterday, but Anthony Davis said, nope, Uh uh-uh. Game-winning three-pointer at the buzzer. Lakers lead that series two games to zero. In the meantime, the Boston Celtics, they get game three over the Miami Heat. Miami still leads that series two to one. NFL around action yesterday. A couple games. Indianapolis knocked off Minnesota. Tennessee beats Jacksonville. Uh, Tom Brady finally gets his first win with his new team. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they beat Carolina. Baltimore rolls past Houston. Uh, just to name a few games. But everybody talking about them Dallas Cowboys. They come back to beat the Atlanta Falcons. They scored 16 points in the last five minutes of the game, including an onside kick. Yo, big up to the boys, Dak Prescott and everybody out there. And last but not least, biggest news over the weekend, in my opinion, Jackson State University has a new head football coach. He goes by the name of Dion, Primetime Sanders, along with the majority of the HBCU football season this fall. It's been pushed to the spring due to the coronavirus. Primetime will pick up with his team after he finishes up his duties as offensive coordinator for Trinity Christian High School in Cedar Hill, Texas. The SWAT, get ready. Prime time is coming. It is what it is, man. That's what I got for sports. Gary, what's the tea? What's up, Mike? All right, y'all. Everybody's talking about it, y'all. Weeks after her surprise wedding to singer Jessica Betts, y'all. Niecy Nash's wedding bliss, y'all, has been interrupted with a foot injury. Now, they're saying y'all that the um, 50-year-old actress, y'all, shared a video on Instagram Saturday showing her foot in a cast with a caption, broken. She said, I cried like a baby. Hashtag pray for me. Hashtag a sister can't fly with one wing. She also shared the teary-eyed selfie y'all along with the video. Now, in the video, y'all, Saturday Night Live alum, Miss Leslie Jones, she inquired about how she got injured. And Nash responded in the comment section. She wrote, I fell and twisted it along with an eye roll emoji, y'all. People are praying for Nisa Nash, y'all, because they're saying it's a sad moment. Some people are saying, y'all, mm, that looks very suspicious. You know, people going to say something. Some people are saying Jessica was chasing her around the house because she didn't cook. I don't uh, know what happened. <laughs> but I'm just saying, what? people saying, stupid. honey, they say she ain't had no, no broke foot with her husband. But nevertheless, honey, her oh, foot is that's broken. that's so petty. That's petty, though. That's what I said, too, Brad. But we're going to keep Nisa lifted <laughs> up in our prayers, and hopefully her foot heals, and she and her wife, Jessica, could have a wonderful, <laughs> happy life. All right, the Kahlua today is one of my favorite Kahlua's. My Kahlua today, y'all, is prune. On the high end, you say prune, and on the lawn, just say beautiful, deep, dark purple. That's your Kahlua for the day. Brad, what you got coming up next in the hot spot? Coming up next in the hot spot, we got two people that we love, maybe three, who won their first Emmy last night. I'm going to tell you all about it in the hot spot. Up next, it's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Uh-huh.